The Farmer and the Snake, A Tale of Trust and Betrayal In the heart of a verdant countryside, where golden fields stretched as far as the eye could see, there lived a farmer known throughout the land for his gentle heart and love for all creatures. It was on a particularly sunny morning that the farmer found himself tending to his fields, the earthy scent of freshly turned soil mingling with the sweet aroma of ripening crops. As he worked, his keen eye spotted a peculiar sight nestled among the tall grass, a wounded snake, its sleek scales dulled and its movements feeble. Without hesitation, the farmer approached the injured creature, his basket of freshly harvested vegetables still slung over his shoulder. With each step, he felt a pang of sympathy for the suffering snake, its tongue flickering weakly as it lifted its head to gaze at him with eyes filled with pain and desperation. Despite the inherent danger, the farmer's compassionate nature compelled him to kneel down beside the snake, his weathered hands trembling slightly as he reached out to gently inspect its injuries. As he examined the snake, the farmer's heart swelled with empathy. How could he, with his love for all living beings, stand idly by while this creature suffered? With great care, he lifted the injured snake into his hands, cradling it against his chest as he rose to his feet. With a solemn vow, he whispered soothing words to the creature, promising to do everything in his power to help it recover. Back at the farmer's humble abode, he laid the snake on a soft bed of straw in the warmth of his cozy barn. With tender hands, he cleaned its wounds and applied healing salves, offering comfort and reassurance all the while. Days turned into weeks, and under the farmer's attentive care, the snake began to show signs of improvement. Its scales regained their luster, and its movements grew stronger with each passing day. Soon, the snake was coiling around the farmer's arm, its once dull eyes now sparkling with gratitude. It seemed to understand the kindness that had been bestowed upon it and expressed its gratitude in the only way it knew how, by offering companionship and loyalty to its newfound friend. However, as time went on, a shadow began to creep over the farmer's idyllic existence. One fateful day, as he reached out to stroke the snake's sleek scales, it suddenly lashed out, sinking its venomous fangs into the unsuspecting farmer's hand. Shocked and writhing in pain, the farmer stared at the snake in disbelief, his heart heavy with betrayal. He couldn't comprehend why the creature he had nursed back to health would turn on him in such a vicious manner. With a sly grin, the snake slithered away, leaving the farmer alone to grapple with the physical and emotional wounds inflicted by its venomous bite. Despite his suffering, the farmer couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness for the creature he had once considered a friend. As he nursed his wounds and tended to his fields, the farmer reflected on the lessons learned from his encounter with the snake. He realized that trust must be earned, and that even the most seemingly innocent of creatures can harbor hidden motives. And yet, despite the pain and betrayal he had experienced, the farmer vowed to never let the darkness overshadow his compassionate spirit. For in the end, it was his capacity for love and kindness that truly defined him as a man. Hey adventurers, welcome to Samson's Storybook, where magic meets imagination, enchanting tales, and exciting adventures. Hope you enjoy the story, your engagement is the key to keeping the storybook alive. Don't forget to ring the bell, to stay tuned for every captivating chapter, embark on a journey where every moment, is a new adventure waiting to unfold. Subscribe now and let the magic begin.